Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Dan Shaheen. Today it's going to be uh, something a little bit different. We're going to talk about comics, sure, but we're going to take it from a, a slightly different angle as we talk about this image. This is a promotional image for uh, Batman the Golden Child by Frank Miller and Raphael Grandpa. Now let's talk about uh, it's why it's got some political ramifications and why I think DC Comics and Time Warner should show some courage and support democracy. Let's talk about it today on Comic Book News. Okay, who likes politics? Not too many people uh, like talking about it. You like talking about comics, right? But today, there's an intersection. This is where comics and politics come together. And not just U.S. politics, but world politics. Sort of the politics of humanity, right? Uh, th this is a promotional image for uh, Batman the Golden Child. New comic coming out, written by Frank Miller, uh, drawn by uh, Raphael Grandpa. I'm actually looking forward to this. It's a one-shot issue. And while I didn't like the last uh, Frank Miller collaboration book I reviewed, and I haven't liked a few of the last Dark Knight Returns uh, sequels that Miller put out, uh, I, I really like Grandpa's artwork. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing if Frank Miller can uh, bring it back again. Anyway, one thing that I know he would support is, is democracy, right? And uh, despite Batman sometimes being accused of having fascist leanings, uh, I don't think that uh, Batman would, would bow to the pressure, economic pressure, from a totalitarian country uh, and... And, and and I think Batman would support democracy, but you know, let's uh, let's go check it out in the Million Dollar Comics news can. <laughs> All right, New York Post Batman ad pulled after pro Hong Kong image sparks controversy. So uh, yeah, DC put this up. Uh, the ad in question featured an image of the iconic mask character throwing a malt off cocktail, a homemade grenade made from gasoline-filled bottles and frequently used by Hong Kong protesters and clashes with police. Uh, pink letters in the foreground say the future is young. Uh, many of the protesters in Hong Kong who are fighting an extradition to China proposal are college age or younger and wore masks during the demonstrations. You know, uh, <clears throat> to tell you the truth, they've, they've, they won that protest, right? So the extradition stuff got called off so china is no longer going to be able to extradite criminals from hong kong to the mainland where they can just put them in a black box and disappear them right or do whatever the heck they want um so but the the the, the protesters there especially the young people have seen the gap they saw okay they backed off on this this is our one and only opportunity let's fight for democracy some people have expressed support for this right uh coach in the nba uh, put up a tweet of support. Man was immediately censured because the NBA is huge money in China. Apparently they make more money there than they do here and the NBA games were immediately pulled off the air. Okay, that's a lot of money. Uh, and and, and, and it's, it's, money is important, let's face it. But heck, man, if we can't speak out in support of democracy, if we can't support people who've had the boot of government on their neck fighting for freedom then uh i you know i don't want to live in a world like that right that's not american the way i know america to be so i i'm gonna suggest to you good people out there that we need to show some support for uh for the protesters in our own way right basketball fans are 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 wearing fight for freedom stand with hong kong wear yellow in protest i'm suggesting that we take uh uh, we take this image and go wide with it, man. Keep it out there. Keep the conversation open because the future is young, like it or not. And if we can't, if we don't support democracy, what are we supporting? What are we saying when we got a country of a billion people that's our number one most favored nation in trade, right? And yet they are they they could not be a more brutal uh, dictatorship. To their people this is hong kong right came from uh, this tradition of coming from uh, uh british ownership or transferred back to to china and now they're 
they're seeing it's a lot different than it used to be. They, we've really got to have some support for uh, democracy all over the world, even if it means economic hardship in this country. I think it's worth it for the principle. And man, the alternative is something awful. Uh, a world dominated by corporate interests that the, the, a, a, where the majority of the world is is not democratically ruled, that's nowhere I want to live. That's nowhere you want to live. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for indulging me a little bit of political rambling. Um, and you know what? Most of all, thanks for watching this channel. Thanks for supporting us. Uh, click uh, like if you like this video. Hey, click thumbs down if you don't. If you think I should stick to comics and forget about all this political stuff, put it in the comments and uh, and I'll respond to it because I read every single comment and I respond to an awful lot of them. So anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.